Welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator at Franklin's Garage. And today we'll be working on the Mayan, I believe it is the Mayan M6. This bad boy right here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Mayan M6. Uh, they have a couple different options for the engines. Uh, the most powerful one is the inline 4 dual overhead cam BFM. That one is the most powerful one. Uh, we're going to be putting some aftermarket parts on here, like for body wise, like the bumper, the headlights, the hood, the rear bumper, the real t rear taillights, and the other parts on it will be stocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by disassembling this, taking everything out that we need to to get it ready, bring the welder over, and fix the body and the framework. Alright, I think we're already all there. I'll take these tires off too. They don't need to be on. And once again, I shouldn't have to go shopping and looking for parts as I've already went and purchased them. I just finished doing that actually. A little bit late to the game today. And this is just a personal vehicle that I'm building. Alright, well that's doing that, we're going to go build the motor for it. I4 VOHC BFM, right there. 279 horsepower. Oops. Uh huh. Houston, we got a problem. It's facing the wrong way. How hard to put the crankshaft in upside down. Not impossible, I have done it before. It's just a little difficult. And we're going to be putting a full, well, of course, like everything else, we're going to be putting a full custom exhaust on it. We're going to install the pistons right now. Performance, of course. I always put everything performance that I can on these cars, always. Why not? I get 9 million, why not do it, right? I sold the Pagani that we built in the last video because, well, I already have one. And I'm trying to clean up my uh, garage area, we'll say. Quite a few cars I have. Alright, now we're going to install part of the, the clutch and flywheel assembly. the old pressure plate on, release bearing. Now what that does is as you press and depress your clutch, it will move that so it either engages the clutch or disengages the clutch. Pretty nifty device actually. And if I had to guess I'd say because of the year of the car and the game, I would honestly say that it's probably a hydraulic clutch. Alright, time to do the top side of the motor now. Saw this beautiful big head. Put spark plugs in first, then the camshafts, then the exhaust, then the turbo, and then when it comes to the intake side, what I do then is I install the injectors first, and then I install the ma intake manifold and then I installed the throttle body because well you can't do it in reverse because I don't think it would work all that well because <laughs> it won't allow you I'm pretty sure I got all the parts I need for this the rear tires are going to be well I'm not going to tell you what they are, I'm just going to tell you the size of the tires. For the rear it's going to be 275 3021s and on the front it's going to be 255 3021s. I was going to put all four matching but 
just a little bit too tight of a fit in the front. I don't think you'd be able to steer the car. And sometimes I do like to drive my vehicles. I think my top speed so far on this has been 320, I think. With the, um, what? Oh no, I was wrong. I have to go buy new stuff. Who knew? Actually, I think I also need to buy an air filter for it too. I could be mistaken, but I think I have to. I knew that there was a timing chain that was missing. Right there. Yeah, air filter I4B. All right, gotcha. So how's everyone doing today? What? I thought... Positive I bought that. Huh. Well, I was a little wrong. I mean, you gotta go searching for parts here, I guess. Because my incompetence led me to believe that I had everything I needed. Injector one, two, a three, four. Now the intake. And now I don't have that either. Son of a gun. Wow, I'm really slipping in my old age. And I just cruise right past it. That is the one we need. Now, the debating question is what color should we paint this bad boy? I'm thinking something like a smoke gray or something like a charcoal color, I guess, would probably be pretty good. <coughs> Sorry about that. There's some stuff stuck in my never mind. Alright, we'll leave you there for now. Ooh, pretty blue. It's blue. Alright, what we'll do now is Oh I gotta lift it up anyways, there's a starter in this thing. I always manage to get stuck doing that. Watch this one. Oh wait. Ah, see, I almost bought that. I mean, it would have been the wrong one. I was gonna buy fuse, fuse box A instead of it being B. Take up the front drive axle. And since we're here, may as well take out the bearing too, right? Get it ready to lift up and pull out the uh, the transmission. Pull the other bearing. Pull up front drive shaft. Alright, up, up and away we go. Oh yeah, I still gotta purchase interior for this yet. Here's my magical spray. Call it the magic spray because, well, you don't need any time at all. It's boom, 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 takes stuff right off. Magic. I have yet to find any penetrating food that actually does that. But I guess DW40 is good stuff. I light up? Yep. Alright, upper arm. And the rear knuckle is ready to come off. Perfect. Start taking out the bushings. Uh, 
Now we'll move over to oh, take off the muffler. Now we'll move over to the other side. I always gotta start with the stuck bolt. Let's take out the sway bar, and in theory, I should be able to pull out the rear cross member. Oh, quite a bushing. At least we're getting some. I didn't start the stuck one this time. Impressive. Now we move to the front. First things first, we make this transmission out of here. Oh, we got two stuck bolts by the looks of it. Remember, and I still have bushings and control arms on it. Uh, stuck bolts. And a, and a tie rod. Like I said, I'm a little nervous at this, you know, it's first time, really, the videos I've made started off the front ones, or the first ones, without any no like any voice at all, and then I decided, you know what, no, I'm going to talk about this random thing, maybe talk about doing this, working on cars, hey, 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 get back there, because cars are my passion. My first love, you can say. Sorry about that. What's everyone's first car they ever owned? Mine was a 1990 Toyota Corolla SR5. Had a little four bang on it, but man, you couldn't blow that motor up even if you wanted to. I've had about 13 and 14 cars over my life. None of them nice. No, except for my newest one. The 2013 Silverado. I got that from my father when he passed away. Didn't even have it on the road for a week. Got dinged in the door twice. Dang kids opening up doors and not knowing how to open doors when it's windy outside. Or at least the second one who did it, at least the kid apologized to me for doing it. The first one just looked at me like I was from outer space. It's kind of disturbing, actually. And the kid's grandmother there tried to play it off like it was no big deal. And it's like, no, it is a big deal. Like, it's a class of respect. You know, do you guys see me coming and whacking your vehicles? Nope. I think that's the right one. You know? No, I don't do that. You know? My daughter at a very, very young age, like she's only 13 now, but when she was three years old, she knew. You know, if we go to a car show, it's don't touch the cars. Keep your hands at your side. 
you know you open up a vehicle door you make sure if, especially if it's windy you make sure you got your hand on it and you don't let it just randomly take off on you so it hit somebody and then you know what dealing with insurance isn't even a factor it's a factor of you know it's not your property respect it uh-huh all right now i gotta go to the electronic section and buy a couple things mm, that should be it for now all right we'll start up here at the fuse box and what we'll do is we'll start here at the sea I'll put in the medium fuses, which I'm not understanding why they call them medium fuses. They're actually large fuses. They're the same size as relays. And these relays look like they're pretty massive. I know I have one of you. And I definitely know I have one of you. I just bought you and your brother. Careful put that in my get electrocuted. What? What? Oh my gosh. I'm really slipping in my old age. Oh, that's life. It is what it is. Now I couldn't remember which one was the fan that this car needed, so I went and bought both of them. Alright, it needs this one. Kind of cheesy a little bit, we'll see. This has to be my favorite airbox er, to put in this car. You don't need no clips, four bolts, and boom, it's in. Alright, I think everything's in. Perfect. Now, put her back up in the air, and start assembly. Now, let's go over, actually I'm going to have to wait until I put the motor in, then I can put the front, front exhaust section on it. Pretty big air, pretty big muffler I might have to add. Like I said, I do things differently in this game than probably others. But I have seen a couple different YouTubers that have uh, done it in a way that where it makes sense. So, you know, I've kind of copied them over the years. Not exactly their style, but, you know, it just works a little easier. Uh, I'm not sure if I have enough bushings left. I may have to run out to the store and buy some here. In fact, in IRL, I actually have, in my 2013, it's got a 5.3, and actually tomorrow, I'm supposed to be receiving valve cover gaskets, and sway bar links. Order them through Rock Auto. Keep this price around. Cheap, cheap for shipping too. As long as you get FedEx, you'll have no problems. Even with all the inflation costs and stuff like that, it's still pretty reasonable. Like for valve cover gaskets and the sway bar links, cost me right around 100 bucks. Now, for me to get the valve cover gaskets locally, I'm spending almost 100 to 150 just for the gaskets themselves, not the spray bar lens. That's another 60 bucks in itself. I don't understand why, but it is what it is. It's pretty outrageous locally to buy parts. I'd love to, you know, how about the local businesses, but being on the income I'm on, I really don't have the funding for that. 
like I said I want to start doing content and start doing videos of actual auto repair because I'm a gamer but I'm also a mechanic at heart yes I do play other games than just this I play Call of Duty I play Farming Simulator um, I do play Roblox and my name on these games is not my YouTube channel name is actually Bredo, which most people I've been asked what does Bredo stand for when I've been gaming and up until recently I've never had a mic to actually explain it to people Bredo is actually uh, I think I think the word I'm looking for here is acronym I think anyway it's my four I have four children well, they're not really children anymore, they're all teenagers. You get my point. They're my babies. And the BR in Bredo stands for my oldest son, Brody. The D in my name stands for my middle, or my second son, which is Damien. The VRA stands for my third son, which is Braden. And D-O-W stands for my daughter, which her name is Meadow. So, most people don't understand, don't know that. Like I said, up until recently, I've never had a mic to actually explain it to anybody. So, it is what it is. And yes, I do use my real name. I don't use no... Like a lot of people will create a little funny name or something like that for themselves. I don't do that. I am who I am. You don't like it? Tough beans. Alright, it's almost time to drop this motor in. Yeehaw! And back up in the air it goes. I think everything's done. Oh, wait, I forgot the sway bar one. Alright, perfect. I switch over to the other side. With the shocking, all the strut. I don't understand why they call it a shock, a shock up, front shock absorber A when if you call a part store and ask for that. They call them struts. Ball up my mind. It really does. I don't know, maybe... I don't know, I don't understand how it could be a copyright problem. Because if it was a copyright problem, then all the different auto parts stores that call it could all be nailed for copyright, and that's not the case, so... Boggle with my mind why well, the game couldn't call it that. Alright, time to lower it down. Mm, the wheels actually pretty sharp on there. And then, as I normally do, once I get it over to the paint shop, that's when uh, I'll do the body panels. And once it's at the body shop, or once it's done in the body shop, I should say, then we'll bring it over to the alignment and we'll do the wheel alignment on it. See, I'm putting 25s on here. Pretty big wheel, actually. And then once... And once that's done, I'm going to give it a head, headlight alignment. Alignment. And then, if we've got enough time, we'll throw it on the dyno and see what it makes. That just had to take a little drink. Some of the most time consuming things on this game is looking for parts, finding parts, and popping up the fluids. What? I 
us as humans, we have blood. The car has all these different fluids to keep it moving and operating properly. Kind of spilt a little bit. Got a rag handy, I would uh, clean it up. wheels these are. They really are. And then once we're done, yeah, front exhaust section. Oh wait, I already got that, didn't I? Yes, I did. Haha, I already bought that. Nice. The wheel on. 255, 30, 20. It's a little bit narrow for this car. That's the reason why I went with the 275 for the rear. I was going to go all the way around with the same. But. Then I wouldn't really be able to drive it on the racetrack. So. Put the stutter in. Now to the body shop. Or paint shop as the game calls it. I'm pretty sure I got everything out, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. You gotta do this quick too. Well, I don't know about other people, but I know mine. It'll just stop you out mid stride. Okay, there's the performance hood, headlight, front bumper, C. I kind of like the way it looks. Looks pretty sharp. Fits the car better. Awesome. But all four wheels are 21. Wait, I still got to paint it. Duh. All right, let's see. Nah. That's the color of the Moon MK1, which is a. Oh, did I forget? I did. Oh, yeah, I just forget. I seriously forget the rear. Wow. Alright, I'm pretty sure everything else is done now. Alright, where were we? Yes, that's the color that my MK1 is, which is also an IRL Cavalier or an Eclipse. I like that red on the red actual sharp black wheels, but it's not the color I'm going for. Something right about there. We'll go over to here. Turn the roughness all the way up. Take the metalness all the way down. Because if you go all the way up with that, it'll turn it into a chrome effect. Turn the brightness all the down. Kind of get my color I'm looking for. Right about there, I guess you could say. Yeah, we'll go right there. it and see if they got any which 
Oh wait, they do. What do we got here? Red stripe? Nah. Full on red pattern? Nope. Anything else? Like a blue? Nothing. Okay. Now what we do is we head over to the alignment shop, which is this path. And from not understanding why this has the name test path but this is what it is I guess wow everything's off all right now we do the headlights And then, I think we have enough time. Let's throw around the die now. That's too much power this little four cylinder makes. I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say roughly about four ninety nine. What? Huh. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Don't know why you need that arm anyway. Can be all strapped down. Oh well. That's gonna be it for this video. I'll post it in Ah, nah. I'll do it. Now I forget any other suspension components. I know the front is very finicky, but the back, as long as you have most of it on, as long as you have this on, your wheel will go on. Alright, let's try this one again. Hopefully. Alright, perfect. Come on baby, 4.99. Definitely ain't Walmart. Nice smooth curve. Off the chart. Four nine well, four eighty horsepower and four hundred and fifty six foot pounds of torque. Probably because it's toned down. Let's go take a little peek, see. Oh yeah, big time. Take it up nine percent, which would probably give me my four ninety nine that I was looking for. <coughs> like I was saying previously, it's a little harder for me to edit the videos because I'm doing it on a PS4 console. So. Ooh, went a little bit more. 508. And 479 foot pounds of torque. Ooh, that's nice. 500 horsepower street monster. Looks nice. Alright, that will conclude our video for today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, remember, my Instagram is at Andrew Franklin and my Facebook is Andrew Franklin see you in the next one